Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Ark Survival Evolved. Today we're here on the island, and to get things started off, I'd like to uh, craft some electronics. And uh, that is because I'd like to install a generator, as well as some lighting, into our base. Um, that's because the uh, it's kind of hard to see when it gets dark out, and I figured since we had the uh, materials required, we might as well craft some uh, lighting. And uh, putting in a generator will also enable us to... Uh, install fridges and uh, chemistry benches and all all sorts of uh, uh, electronics and uh, components and whatnot so uh, I figured it was about uh, due time that we did install a generator so uh, we're gonna just take care of that right now and uh, we'll sort of hide it behind this wall here I did build a little extension onto the side of the house so that we'd have a generator room and uh, then we will uh, run some wiring across the uh, the middle of the floor. I don't think we're going to go all the way across today, just uh, far enough that we're able to install our uh, two little uh, lamp posts. Uh, I think I'd, uh, that will power it. Yes, that. Okay, so that will power it. However, I think let's hurry and pick up the junction box, and then I'd like to extend it out just one more uh, length of wire because we did craft a second one. So let's. Uh, uh, place this down and then uh, we'll throw down the junction box and uh, that's all we'll do for uh, wiring the house today um, because the wiring can be rather tedious and uh, uh, for the time being all we really need it for is these uh, two lamps so let's get these turned on and uh, switch the light down to medium just so it's not uh, horribly bright and then uh, we'll probably turn off the generator to uh, conserve power but when it does get dark, we can have these on, and it should help a lot when it comes to lighting up the, the base, and especially the crafting station. Uh, the main objective I'd like to uh, accomplish today, however, is uh, over on the Dead Island, a Alpha Rex had spawned in, and I figured that I, uh, I feel confident that uh, with our current uh, little uh, pack of dinosaurs that we'd be able to uh, uh, successfully uh, kill it. It's only a level 16. And I think with the three Carnos and uh, Nile, our Spinosaur, we should definitely be able to handle um, the Alpha Rex. So uh, we're also going to take Swoop just in case, and I'd also like to have a mount. And I don't exactly trust the Sabertooths to not get killed. And uh, I would like to have them uh, kept alive for uh, future cave runs, so we're just going to leave them at home and take the Carnos and the Spino. And uh, hopefully this is uh, enough to uh, successfully kill the, uh, the Rex. I'm sure it will be, but... Uh, you never know, the Alpha Rex can definitely be a difficult uh, dinosaur to uh, kill, but uh, if we do end up uh, uh, being able to manage it, we should get some decent loot from uh, killing it. Uh, there's the uh, the Alpha Rex level 16, so it's not a terribly high level, and uh, I, I can imagine it would be uh, too difficult to take down. Um, it, let's see how much damage it is doing. So there's an 89 and then 142. Uh, so it definitely does a lot of damage, but uh, I still definitely think that uh, with our current um, tr uh, little pack of dinosaurs that we could definitely handle this. Um, let's try and get them off the raft uh, so that we can actually have them engage the Alpha Rex. We probably don't want them to attack the raft. I think they'll definitely be able to destroy it. Uh, let's see if we could lure the Alpha Rex away while we... Uh, offload our dinosaurs. It probably wasn't the best idea to grab its attention, but uh, it seems like these two Carnos got stuck, so let's, uh, let's just get everyone to follow us, and then we'll line up and uh, start uh, trying to uh, kill this Alpha Rex. Looks like everyone is uh, off the raft, and uh, hopefully the raft won't get damaged. As long as we uh, keep the fight uh, a fair distance away from the raft, we should be fine. Uh, but it looks like the, the Carnos and the Nile are doing it. Uh, much more damage than the, the Rex is doing, especially the, the Spino looks like is hitting for uh, around about almost 300 damage a hit, so definitely uh, not uh, not terrible. It looks like the Carnos have sort of uh, quit attacking, uh, however I think Nile has this handled uh, perfectly fine. We will uh, add some of our own uh, damage in there with Swoop just, uh, just while we can. I don't want to take too many hits from the, uh, the Rex. Uh, I don't want uh, Swoop to die. If anyone is uh, to survive, I'd like it to be Swoop. He's uh, the uh, the most useful of our uh, little tribe here. Now, uh, let's see if we can get some shots with our rifle. And, oh, it actually looks like the uh, uh, our Spino was able to take it down. That was a lot easier than I was anticipating. And uh, by the looks of it, everyone seems to be uh, fairly in, in good shape. No bloodied uh, dinosaurs. 
Um, yeah, that was definitely a lot easier than I was expecting. It looks like we can't access their inventory, so I don't think they have anything on them. However, it did look like we got uh, a fair amount of loot. Um, yeah, not uh, not terrible. Uh, this hatchet will definitely be a, an improvement over our primitive hatchet, so let's equip that. Uh, I believe our current crossbow is better, uh, yes, by far, so... Uh, we won't use that, but uh, it is nice to have. Not uh, not terrible, and uh, to be honest, that was a lot easier than I was expecting. So uh, let's get these guys home, and uh, we do need to dye our helmet because we have the uh, the Alpha Rex, the uh, Bone Trike helmet, and uh, we can now equip that. And uh, I th guess we could uh, always look around for another Alpha Rex, but to be completely honest, that was uh, far easier than I was expecting. So. Um, yeah, I am, uh, I'm impressed with our dinosaur's capabilities, but uh, anyhow, in the meantime, let's uh, paint this helmet quickly, and uh, we can see how we look with our uh, our new uh, new and improved helmet skin. Uh, I think it looks quite nice. It shows our accomplishments, and uh, goes well with our flak armor. So anyway, I believe we are going to leave the video off, so I hope everyone did enjoy, and I'll see you all later. Goodbye.